Welcome to the desert of the real. We are too nice, and we and we're too we're too, you know. It's it's to a fault, you know. It was just recently, and I believe it was with the Malvo uh, Muhammad case that they said that oh we 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 can be serial killers or we could be. I mean, look, you talking two thousand and something? You didn't mention though uh, the the, the um, Colin Ferguson that came on the Long Island Railroad and just killed up some white folks. That would be a nice, pretty nice movie, just just so we could see the the, the mentality of, of 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 what he of, of how he was driven to kill white folks instead of turning his gun on another black person, which which is what the system of racism is designed for us to do. Mm-hmm. It's always designed for us to turn our energy towards each other, so they go unscathed, and and we self destruct. You know yeah. that's the ra- that's the racism. That's the but but and it, and like you, I'm offended when you even would compare me to the white supremacist racist construct that we exist in. How dare you? How dare you even think? Even if I come up, even if I say right now, I think that all white people should be dead. If I said that right now, that still don't got nothing to do with tomorrow. I get up, I get locked up by this white <laughs> officer, go to this white judge. And if the white judge don't lock me up, then the, then the, then the, the people that's on the damn uh, appeals committee is all white. And then if I they take it all the way to the Supreme Court, the majority of them is white. Right. And see, this is the reason why, um, like a brother had mentioned on the show, like the Camel Campbell, what did I feel about Camel Campbell saying that he wants, he, he wants, he thinks that the answer or the solution to the problem is the extermination of white people. And of course, you know, like I think, and I, like I said, I think that that upset Negroes more than it did white folks. <laughs> number one, right? You know, and 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 because I don't have the same vested interest in 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 that that a white person hearing that would have. Like I know it sounds like, oh my God, he said this, he said we're going to be eliminated. Oh God, you can't possibly endorse something like that, can you? You know, I don't have this vested interest in that to care one way about it or another because my people and me are being killed right now. Nobody's talking about it. They don't. Ain't nobody issuing no threats. Black folks are actually going in the grave. That's right. As we speak. So I have a little bit more of a vested emotional interest in what's really happening to than to somebody putting out some thought into the atmosphere that is not nowhere in the vicinity of happening anytime soon. Right. It's just talking. When he, you know, and that's, and that's, that's his own, that's white guilt too, you know, and that's a lot of the things because they really, because they really know through their own concept, whether it be through a religious concept, whether it be through their own psychological uh, construct, they know that they, deserve to be put into slavery. They know that they deserve to go for at least four at least four hundred years of the shoe being on <laughs> on the other foot. They know that. They, deep down inside they know that. They well, know let's that put it, that's let's what they put deserve. it this way. I don't know what they deserve. I don't know what the universe is going to um what type of punishment the universe is going to give out collectively toward um the European race for the things that they've done against the Africa. I don't know. And, and, you know, that's for something for the universe to decide. But I will say this. Um, universal law, no one, exi- no one is exempt from universal law. When you do something, you put out something bad, that something has to come back to you. So I understand the paranoia. But what you got to understand is, see, this show is a little different format for what I'm in. For all the people that's new to this show, let me just say this offhand. Um 
I don't even deal with, with the European on my show. Like, if you go back and you check these archives, you will not see. This is probably the only show that you will see where I even address white supremacy. Right. This is our first time. This is the first time with me addressing white supremacy. And the reason why is because, to me, it's irrelevant to what we have to do. There's something, no doubt, it's something that we have to deal with. I don't dismiss it like it doesn't exist. But at the same time, our issue is, is African people here um, in, this, in North America, or Bacala in North America, is how are we going to get ourselves together on an individual level so that we can start forming alliances collectively so that we can start forming systems? Because that's how the breakdown goes. First, we have to, get, we have to clear up and purge white supremacy and, and, and black self-hatred out of ourselves personally. Right. And then once we do that, those free-minded individuals have to get together and form networks. And once we do that, then those networks have to start forming institutions. That's how the breakdown goes. And like Ambassador said, he's for clearing up yourself spiritually and getting right. this, this, this white supremacy out of your mind on an individual, personal basis. Because until we do that... No organization that we try to start is going to work. It's not going to work. No. Because all you're going to do is organize a bunch of self-hating Negroes. 